Hello everyone, welcome to the Villa Together podcast with myself, Chris Ellis. And as you can see, I am joined by some very wonderful people from the Premier League. Um, loads of different Premier League fans from various podcasts. Um, this is episode number three of the debate. And today we're going to be debating an all-time Premier League 11. And these guys are going to be the ones doing it. Um, so just going to go around introducing the people as I see them from left to right on the screen. So the chairman of the Phil Jones Supporters Club. <laughs> We've got... Hello, guys. Yeah, it's Dan here from Footballers, and that is what I want. Um, really, really happy to be here tonight. I've got my perfect wallpaper in the background that took me six months to find. So uh, delighted to be talking some football with some great blokes. Looking forward to it. Nice one. And from the Copite podcast, we've got... Got Mick. How are you doing, guys? Nice to be uh, nice to be invited on. Cheers. Nice one. Thanks for coming. Pleasure's all mine. And some people are going to dis dispute this, but Manchester is blue. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think there's a for somebody that's got Phil Jones as a pitch in the background. I don't think there's much dispute in there, is there? Depends on what year you're going from. <laughs> very true. Very true. Yeah. I am Tom from Manchester is blue. Uh, obviously, big big city fan. Thirty eight years and. Uh, Going strong. Nice one. Good to have you on. And I've got um, I've got the three guys from the Are You Entertained podcast. Um, so I've got Jerry, Oliver, and Peter. You guys want to say hello? Yeah, I yeah, think. Hello. Looking to be entertaining. Brought my two best <laughs> men with me. Take them everywhere <laughs> I go. <laughs> they come as a three. Um, unfortunately, for one of our other guests. Um, the North London uh, crew have been outnumbered by the Spurs <laughs> guys. So I, I apologise to my other guest. Um, regular, uh, the co-host with me, Villa Together, we've got... Ian, uh, hi guys. Nice to be on with you. Looking forward to the debate. And um, I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be any Villa mentioned in there, but um, I'm not seeing it, if I'm honest. <laughs> I've, I've shoehorned them in everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> And then we've got from the Football CFB channel. Hi, uh, Callum McFadden from Football CFB, um, massive Manchester United fan. I oh, see. There you go. He's Manchester blue. I'm not so sure. Not on this podcast at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and um, making his podcast debut, um, former Wimbledon fan, we've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aaron. Uh, thanks for having me on, Chris. Ready to do some debating. Yeah, thanks for coming on. It's, you know, it's nice to get the proper old school Premier League fan. So Aaron's here. Oh, Look, John Fashion up top all day long. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, and finally, um, I was on a podcast with him a couple of weeks ago on the same old Arsenal podcast where he predicted an Arsenal win against Aston Villa. Unfortunately, <laughs> for this man, it didn't quite go that way. Uh, we've got... Albert from Albert JTV. Um, nice, nice to have you on. Yeah, Chris, thanks for the invite, man. We'll, we'll brush over the result um, a few weeks ago, man. It's fine. Well, <laughs> diving in, we're going to talk about the Villa Arsenal game. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Why not? Why not? I, well, I thought oh. we'd talk about it, and I'll see what the uh, the Spurs guys thought about it. <laughs> Love it. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned, what obviously, um, first thing to do, we need to sort out what formation we're going to go with. <clears throat> as I said, unless anyone's got any exotic um, recommendations, I'm thinking either a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3. So, has anyone got any any alternatives to that? Nah, 4-4-2. No, 4-4-2, no, definitely. Standard, yeah. 4-3-3. I've gone for 4-3-3. Typical Pep. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, you can um, make a case for four three three, but well, we you know we, we live in a democracy, so I'm gonna have to go with them. Um, so show of hands four four two. One two six, and then um, who, who's feeling four three three? Well, well, we have a formation. I'm still going to get a lot of Arsenal players in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, if we're going 4 4 2, I've just cut a United for player. That was easy enough, wasn't it? There oh, you go. <laughs> Every clout's okay. Well, well we, 
the votes have gone towards 442. So that's a formation we're going to go with. Old school 442. Um, probably what most teams played with at the start. Um, as did um, did Wimbledon start with a 442? I don't even remember. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just let the ball forward, didn't we? Yeah. Get it, yeah, get it forward. Just, you know, if the ball comes back, get Vinnie Jones to take him out. Have you it. noticed you only ever see clips of Wimbledon these days when you watch the best ever Premier League goals and they're always scored against Wimbledon? <laughs> you ever noticed that? Yeah, best second. <laughs> yeah, Tony Yeboah. Yeah. Come to mind. Let's just say my goals. David Beckham. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next, yeah. Right, so um, obviously we're going to start with goalkeeper. Um, I, my shortlist is, um, I've got a four-man shortlist. There's probably someone I've missed out, so apologies. Um, I've gone Peter Schmeichel, David Seaman, Petter Cech, David De Gea. Um, is there anyone, first of all, who who, who are, are missing out or anyone, anyone else that I can think of? Edwin Van der Sar. Van der Sar, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Van der Sar, okay. Anyone else? I think, you, I think you've got a spot on with the keepers, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, to do that. Yeah, do that. Yeah, see, do that. Straight on. I'll put him straight on. Um, Pickford. <laughs> yeah, Pickford. Oh. Pickford, for God's sake. Jorelio Gomez can go in and all in. <laughs> them all in there. Gomez. Um, what about um, Neil Sullivan? Oh, shit. <laughs> Big shout. Big shout. Yeah. What a keeper. If we're not playing properly, boys, I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. My, my bad, my bad. Right, so we've, we've got five then. Um, and I'm going to come to you first, Dan. Um, who are you feeling out of those goalkeepers? You know, there's, there's two Man United goalkeepers there. Would you, well, be, would you be going with one of them or, or would you think someone else is, is possibly better? I think as a United fan, you know, obviously loyalties, you're going to go with Schmeichel. And Schmeichel's Villa, by the way, as well. He played for Villa. So you've got your Villa, you've got your Villa boy in there. Um, I, I don't think, I, I don't think, I'm not going with De Gea. Like, I'm not having De Gea as, as in the greatest team. I, I just won't have that. I, my head, my, my, well, my heart is going with Schmeichel, Man United. But I mean, Pet Cech, when he first joined, he was just, he was just something else, wasn't he? He was just unreal. Um, I mean, my, my, my whole, philosophy of, of Van der Sar being in there was Van der Sar went on that monstrous run of not conceding. I think he broke the, the record in the world, did he? I think it, it possibly. Um, and, and he did a really good job at Fulham as well. I mean, people forget Fulham, he was there for a few years and pro probably dug them out a fair, a fair few times. I mean, Fulham, we all know where they are now, up and down. So as, mu as much as Van der Sar's not on there, I'll, I'll stick with Schmeichel. Um, I said check, but I'm going to go Schmeichel. I'm going to stick, stick with Schmeichel. <laughs> There you go. Um, Albert, we had a, an Arsenal goalkeeper in there. Are you feeling, of course. Are you, feeling, are you feeling him or are you, you going to go with Dan or are you going to go with someone completely different? You know what? I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to talk rubbish. I love David Seaman. Don't get me wrong. I thought from that period from about, I would say, 94 to 98 for England and, and Arsenal, I thought he was world class. Um, but Schmeichel... I can't go beyond Schmeichel, you know. And the one thing I remember about Peter Schmeichel is that save he'd done in the Champions League. I think, was it Rapid Zero away in the Champions League? Yeah. They likened it to Gordon Banks. And that was, that was a save, man. And I remember that from way back. So, as much as I love Seaman, and he's got a good case for him, but I, I can't go beyond Peter Schmeichel, if I'm being honest. Yeah, good shout. Um, is anyone else moving away from Peter Schmeichel? Does anyone else think that there's someone else that deserves recognition there? No, it's no content. Let's, let's have Michael, well. Peter Schmeichel in Galatasaray, you know, going at the Galatasaray fans, he's an absolute beast of a bloke. And I think just commanded the area. Only bloke for United who ever really went back at Kino and told him to shut up. I just <laughs> I just I just think Schmeichel was an absolute boss. Yeah, he was. Okay, but, so um as how I, did you get De Gea in there? Yeah, I know. I know I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was I was thinking Okay, I, I see your point. I was just thinking, for a good few years, he was the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, mm. um, especially when United were were struggling, so to speak. He was. What do you mean, were? Still are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably even more so now, aren't you, in all fairness? But but yeah, he had, he had a spell where he was the best in the league. And, you know, you could probably say, you know, Alisson and Edison at the moment. But Is it not? And I'm sorry, just butting quickly, is it not the whole thing about when you're a goalkeeper at a top club like 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 Schmeichel at that stage, Seaman at his stage, um, Petr Cech, 
you've got that defense in front of you that are stopping the shots coming as much and making you not really have to do much. But when you do get called in, you look great. But then De Gea has been in that time where we have been dog shit and he's had a lot to do. So yeah. it, it, he's obviously a bit more in, in the limelight because of this. And I, I just feel like, He's, of course, he's an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper, um, but but I just don't see him. I, if you if you would say to me greatest Premier League eleven, he's nowhere near it. I don't think, to be honest. Okay, um, show of hands. Then um, who's feeling Peter Schmeichel? Full house for Schmeichel. Then there we go. Okay. <laughs> First one straight in. Peter Schmeichel. Is that worth got... noting that Peter Check has the uh, clean sheet record? I think it's yeah. about 202, isn't it? Mm. And he's performed at Glastonbury. Throw <laughs> <laughs> that in for the boy. I think you're all missing out Peter Schmeichel's best year, though, to be honest. He's, he signed for oh. a club in, in blue in 2002 on a, on a free transfer. And I think he was particularly good that year for us. Did he score for Villa as well in the Premier League? He did. Yes. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored for United as well, didn't he? Yeah, in, in yeah. Europe, that was. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Great goal that was. Uh, we, I think we started the season pretty well, and then um, we were losing three one at Everton, and um, he came back stick little little volley half, on it, half volley, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, okay. Moving on to um, right back then of our four four two. Um, I mean, it, I've literally got a list of two here. Um, I obviously, was... I don't think there, I don't think there's a minute right back. If I'm being honest, just more nice thing. Still good here. I know that Mick. Um, you guys did yours, didn't you, on on your channel? Um, so so I'm hoping you're going to save me here. Um, the two right backs I've got are Gary Neville and Kyle Walker. Zabaleta. 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 Ivanovic. Yeah, good shout. Ivanovic was good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Phil, 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 Phil Jones played at right back as well. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a bit biased, but I thought I thought Lauren, even though he wasn't even a right back, converted right back, I thought he was excellent for Arsenal. Yeah, I liked Lauren. Yeah, not a Bue, not a Bue, a Bue not getting. No, 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 not a Bue, but <laughs> Lauren's got a shout, man. I think he's got a shout personally. Lauren over Lee Dixon. <laughs> no, Lauren and Lee Dixon. I was going to say. Oh, right, okay, right. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, can I lead? Can I lead the way with this? Because oh. I've had, a, I've, 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 I've had, a, I've done more work on this today than I have actual work. So, <laughs> and the, the worst, the yeah, worst yeah. point of this is the is the right back because my head tells me Gary Neville, but then I think to myself, well, Gary Neville, he, he's most one of the most decorated footballers in world football. But then I think to myself, Pablo Zabaleta. I, I generally think there's an argument to say he could have been a better footballer technically better football oh, yeah. than Gary Neville because mm. he played in that midfield position and dropped in to right back of, at, at City and I just think that do you know what if if I was Alex Ferguson I think I would have chose Zabaleta over Neville and that, that's the and that's I've, I've really struggled with this position and this is the only one I've really struggled with to be honest I, I, I'm still not sure of the answer it, my head my, my heart tells me Zaba obviously but my head's telling me actually Neville didn't do too bad for United did he just a seven out of ten every week, one of you met Neville. <laughs> seven out of ten every week. Solid, you yeah, you knew exactly what you were getting every week with him. Mm, consistent. What what Evans thoughts on Carl Walker? Because I think he's, a, he's an interesting shout in there as well. I think we need to be talking about Kyle in a couple of years. I think okay. actually, let's, 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 I think for That's me, he's, he's, I think he's, this is the he's, he's my mm. player of the season up to now. He's a brilliant, brilliant player. And we're so lucky to have signed him. But I just think he needs a couple of more years before he starts getting into the realms of the Nevilles and the and the, and the um, Zabbers. Yeah, it's difficult when you're still playing, to be yeah, honest. So this yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. Zabaleta has actually been my pick. He is the player that I went for. It depends if you're going for longevity, how much they achieved, or if you're going for quality. Because in terms of the best right-back I think I've seen in the Prem consistently, I would probably say Zabaleta. I thought he was a better player than Gary Neville, which maybe seems a bit harsh to say. But I agree with what my man said over there, the Phil Jones. And I think he's 7-10 every week, where I think Zabaleta mm -hmm. is a better technical player. Just, I just rate him like it's Bill not... Jones, seven out of ten every week, you're saying? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> uh, that's a good week for Bill Jones. That. That's a great week for Bill Jones. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was Gary Neville a seven out of ten when, in his last game against the Baggies when Thomas um, ripped him apart? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seven being how many times he should have received the second yellow, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad day, man. 
But that was a bad day. Fair play to him. He comes off the pitch and says to Fergie, I'm done. I'm done. done. Yeah. I'm retiring now. Yeah. Don't give me to the end of the season. I'm done. I don't want like last 10 minutes to last game of the season. Just, just done. <laughs> Bill Jones never said that, did he? Still hasn't said it. <laughs> Bill Jones, mate, he's an absolute hero slash warrior. <laughs> hey, more league, more league titles than Stevie G as well, so. He must be better. He must, must be better, yeah. <laughs> the stats don't lie. They don't, they don't. I, I think with, with Kyle Walker, I thought about him because when Spurs were, you know, Spurs had probably three really good years where they, they kind of challenged, they kind of had a total challenge without you know, having a proper title challenge, if you know what I mean. They were up there. They were consistent. They played some of the best football. And, and, and uh, they had, for a couple of years at least, their full-backs getting forward were excellent. Um, I think there's a reason why, why Man City went out and bought Kyle Walker for, for what was a lot of money. And I just thought in terms of Gary Neville, you know, he's kind of one of them. I think automatically you think Gary Neville. But I think in terms of how football's progressed and how football yeah, has changed. Yeah. Different right backs, aren't they? Yeah. 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 What, how yeah. the right backs have become a big part of the game. Well, full backs. I felt that that's where Kyle Walker came in. Going forward and kind of how the last, say, 10 years of the Premier League have been. And also he, he spent a year on loan at Aston Villa. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> That's the real reason he's in, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll, have, we'll have a Villa eleven yeah. by default. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, players who who made their name elsewhere but did play for Aston Villa. He once this, the next player once visited Birmingham for twenty minutes. <laughs> so, he, so he counts as a Villa player. Yeah. And, and players who've played at Villa Park, you know. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> okay, um what are we feeling then? So Gary Neville, um show of hands for Gary Neville. All but two. Um Tom, are you you sticking with Zabaleta? I've got as soon as he's lost anyway, definitely. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm supporting I'm supporting Zabba. Uh Jerry, are you are you along Zabaleta as well? Yeah, I was I was Zabaleta as well. Um, I'm well, thinking yeah, with Tom. There, yeah, there we go. T Tom and Jerry together. Zabaleta. <laughs> nice. I'm going to be. <laughs> Zabaleta fan club coming to you soon. Um, <laughs> That's good shot. Good shot. Gary Webb Neville's won this one. Um, he has actually played at Villa Park as well. <laughs> I, think he, I think he actually said it's his favourite place to play, genuinely. So, you know, we'll, we'll you know who he said he'd have played for, though, if he wasn't a United player? Arsenal. Really? So he'd be an Arsenal player, yeah. Really? Said he'd love to be for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Really? I don't think he gets to choose. I'm not sure that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> He's the king, does what he wants. <laughs> yeah. I want to play for this team. See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Zlatan does, so. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. uh, right, okay. I'm going to go go to the other side then of our 4 4 2. I'm going to go for left back. Um, do you know, what I'm thinking we probably could pick. Um, the same person here because they probably, in all fairness, when you look at a lot of the positions, there's there's one outstanding player here. I've got two on my list as well. Um, I've gone for Ashley Cole and Danny Rose. I'm joking about Danny Rose. Um, oh, Ashley... well done, Danny. <laughs> hey. yeah, so that had to be a joke, man. <laughs> Ashley Cole, uh, Patrice Evra. Um, I'm sure I've missed out someone outstanding. Anyone else? Think of anyone? Dennis Irwin. I would have said, yeah, yeah Dennis Irwin. By Dennis Irwin. Wow, touch him well. Mm. Anyone else? Any thoughts on that? Has to be Ashley Cole all day. Ashley Cole. Yeah, Ashley. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think Ashley Cole without a doubt. Just, just it's not even a debate, is it? Yeah. No. Nope. I think this is. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably. Yeah, I think this one Ashley Cole was at, at two clubs as well. Chelsea and Arsenal was fantastic, um, you know, and arguably one of England's best players when he when he played, um, and probably at one point was one of the best fullbacks in the world. Definitely, yeah, I, I, I think he was. I, yeah, yeah. I, I think he, I think he was probably the only England player in national that performed at a world class level consistently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The great. only player I would say. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It was yeah. There was there was a time when he, he probably was our only world class player. Um, but yeah, so we we all agreed. Any, anyone against Ashley Cole for this one? Yeah, 
Nope. Nope. No way. Okay, lovely. There we go. Left back. That was an easy one. <laughs> We've got Ashley Cole. Right, obviously, moving on to centre-halves, there's a, there's, there's a few. So, obviously, we, cool. need, we need to pick two. Um, these are players I've gone for. I've probably missed a few because there's so many. Um, I've gone John Terry, <coughs> Nemanja Vidic, Rio Ferdinand, Virgil van Dijk, Sol Campbell and Vincent Company. Anyone else that I have missed off there? Oh, Tony Adams. Tony Adams. 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 Yeah, Adams. mate. <laughs> I knew there was someone. I thought, I, thought I'd, inquiry. I thought I'd cover it with Sol Campbell, but then so. Sol Campbell ain't getting in. I'm putting that out there early doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you there'll, be, there'll be an effigy of Chris on Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so obviously we're gonna. So I'm gonna come to you, Albert, because of you know there's a, a bit of an Arsenal connection there with Tony Adams as well. Um, in terms of all-time Premier League centre halves. Who would kind of be at the top of your list? And you know what? I actually think this is the most difficult position of the team. Yeah, like, um, really there's such an argument for all of them. But the re- I mean, the thing with Tony Adams, it wasn't just the fact that he was a good centre half, but he played in an amazing back four stroke, back five over a consistent basis from the old first division one right through to the Premier League. Um, and I thought Wenger made him actually a bit more of a cultured better centre half in terms of on the ball as well for those last two like four or five years he had him but um, ooh. but you know what I, there's one other centre half I do actually rate who's, I don't know if you mentioned him I can't remember now Yap Stan oh. I thought he was levels Beast. I know people talk about Rio in a big way but I, I, yeah, I, I, when I think of United centre half the first person that comes to my mind is Yap Stan yeah. but Tony Adams is a different gravy man it's hard, it is hard. It's a good, it's a good list, man. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good shout. I think Yap Stam, um, you know, he obviously was quality. Um, Tom, what, what do you think on this one? Because obviously, there's a lot, there's a lot of players there. There's a, a Man City player, yeah, it's 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 John Terry and Vincent Company for me. Um, I think Vincent Company is the captain of captains, I think he, he, he leads any team he plays with. Um, and, and Terry kind of writes his own future, doesn't he? Um, Ferdinand was so close to making this. I mean, Ferdinand, what's, what's he won? Six, six, six Premier League trophies, European Cup, FIFA World Club Cup, and he's, uh, he's fantastic. Virgil van Dijk, again, I think, I can't, was, it, was it Jerry that mentioned, you know, when players retire, that's when they really, that's where he'll be there, he will be here, but for now, I, I can't see past Terry and company. Is there a question mark over company because of all his injuries at all? Um, for, mm. For, mm. The only question mark is he could have we could have potentially won more with City if if we would have had him fit for another season or two, but I don't think that would get him away from it being on my list. To be honest, I think if he was, I think <clears> if we all if we're all honest with all of us looking here now, we'd have Vincent Company in our team if he was fit today, wouldn't we? And I think I think he would. He'll take some replacing. Yeah, I mean, he he, he was kind of I suppose a big a big part of. Of um, you know City and, and everything that had won, he was he was kind of one of those players. When I know it's a bit of a you know silly thing to say, but in terms of <clears throat> when your team goes onto the pitch, he was almost like he was the leader. He was like the manager on the pitch for those guys, and he, he played a big part in that. Um, Callum, what what are your thoughts on this one? Who, who was kind of t- towards the top of, of your thinking? I think for me, I would go with Ferdinand and Vidic because. They're a proven partnership and they didn't just win the Premier League many times, but they also won the Champions League together as a pair. So for me, if you're going for two centre-backs, then Ferdinand and Vidic, not only are they both top draw centre, centre-backs in their own right, but as a partnership, they were the best. For me, they were the, the best in the world for, for a period of time, albeit you could say maybe only a year or two, but they, they definitely were at some stage. Yeah, good shout, fair point. Um yeah, it's certainly something, I suppose, when you look at, <clears throat> I mean, could you include, you know, Ricardo Cavallio as, you know, he, him and John Terry had a good partnership for a few years, didn't they, in all fairness. Um, Mick, obviously, we've, we've mentioned Virgil van Dijk, I, I think, as, as kind of what Jerry had said and, and Tom reiterated that point about when players retire, they kind of maybe get a bit more recognition. Are you are you, are you feeling that or, or do you think Virgil van Dijk should be, be up there? I don't think you can put him in yet. I think, like Tom said, um, 
company. For me, I've picked Teddy and company because when City signed company, I was looking at him thinking that's who, what that's a type of leader Liverpool need. And then we finally got him Virgil van Dijk. So I think maybe in a couple of years or maybe after Van Dijk's retired, we can have, to have this discussion again and he might get in there. But I don't think you can look past um, John Terry and company for me, both solid and what a pair and that would be. You'd win, you'd win everything. Yeah, bit of a bit of a mix there. Um, Ian, are you in the um, the John Terry camp? Because you know you play for Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, albeit he played for us in the Championship for one season. But yeah, um, I think with these debates, it's always difficult, isn't it? Because you yeah. go, you get drawn towards the romantic selection, and with any player, they always get better when they're not playing. So, like all these retired stars, the likes of Terry, Sol Campbell. Tony Adams, you never remember what they did wrong because all of your highlights of them are of what mm. they did right when they were winning titles. Um, for me, I, th- I think it's it's Terry Ferdinand for me. Terry and Ferdinand. It's worth noting, though, that uh, Virgil van Dijk did concede seven at Villa Park. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for that to come up. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got it behind us somewhere. I'm off, um, I'm off boys. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. Um, right, okay. Um, right. T- I think it is a tough one because there are, there has been a lot of very, very good centre-halves mm. over the years. And, you know, I think when you kind of look at the, I suppose, the different kind of eras, if you like, it's changed, hasn't it, from a player who's just literally sticking their body on the line, winning everything in the air, to you know the ball playing centre halves that are around more now, I suppose. Um, right, show of hands, uh, John Terry. Yeah, I think uh, I can't stand John Terry, but he goes in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. He, he, he's probably the most disliked footballer among the about a million generation. <laughs> he is. He is. Okay, it's be- can, can I just say, Vidic won Premier League Player of the Year two two times. Like no other defenders than that. He is. Quality, yeah, he was. like he, oh. he carried Ferdinand every step of the way. How does and he's, he's, he's in there? Oh. He's in there. <laughs> I can't, I can't see carried, how um how a partnership carried of, Ferdinand uh, carried him. But yeah, he won I, everything for him. I, Let Ferdinand just take the ball out and play the ball. <laughs> no. Did everything. Come on, Vidic, Vidic was class. So if so was Ferdy, give him some respect. The four points. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, Stan, yeah, Stan was class, mate. Tell you. Yeah, yeah. How's um how's, how's Phil Jones and Loverham not got into this um, <laughs> conversation? I'm, 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 I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. I mean, you you know play- what, just just quickly going back to what Tom said, um with, with company, sorry, just the I had to say it. Um you judge you judge a team when they lose a player who, who's not just important on the field but off the field. And it showed the season, obviously last season Liverpool win in the league, just mm. how much they missed company. Yeah. Uh, as, as a voice on the field and off the field, it, it was it was volumes, wasn't it, Tom? I I I, I, I loved it, but I mean, uh, no, he was a <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal bloke, phenomenal player, and I think for Pep uh, coming into, I mean, Pep's Pep's Pep, he wins bloody everything, um, but to come into Man City and have company there, ready-made captain, the bloke you know you're going to go, it's it's company for me without a doubt, absolute superstar. Okay, then, as you're talking about the man, um, who would pick Vincent Company uh, as one of their back two? I'm going to use two hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, what about Rio Ferdinand? Yeah, for me. Yeah, it's Ferdinand for me. I'd go Rio. Yeah, That's a balanced. It. Yeah, I'd go Rio. It was hard for him being carried by Vidic everywhere he went, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> Terry did the same in the England team. Oh, because of... oh come on. <laughs> took the disrespect, he's such a good footballer. He was a worldie. No, he was good. I did, <laughs> Vidic was just superb, though. I don't, he needs to be in the team. Okay, then. You're, you're, talking, to you're talking about this man. Um, Nemanja Vidic, who would have him in uh, the back two? It'll be tight. It's going to be tight. It will be tight. It will be tight. Mm. Be tight. Going to be tight. Um, anyone else? I mean, the, the players we mentioned. Anyone? Was there anyone else that anyone would have? Tony Adams, Sol Campbell. Sober. Yeah. I'd, have, I'd have tried to get. Tony, I'm trying to get Tony in, but you guys, you guys, not having it. 
<laughs> for, for Tony Adams, uh, Michael Dawson, maybe. Oh, oh my, oh my <laughs> god, what a good clip the boy has! What a clip, same pass every single what about, time. Um, what about Sebastian Basso? The, the other one, isn't he? <laughs> King. Basso was wrong. King. King. <laughs> if, if he could have stayed fit for more than a week, he would have been, yeah, he would have been different. Yeah, he was. Oh, Ledley Led King was, yeah, if he was fit without a doubt, he was. Quality, this quality. is it. You can't push him for it. He's, he was quality, but you can't put him for anything. Yeah. Like he was, yeah. Yeah, he barely played. Mm-hmm. He had no knees. So, so could... vote, votes wise, um, John Terry gets in as one of the two, um, and then we had for the the partner, um, company and Ferdinand both had five. Ooh. So again, yeah, demand a recant. <laughs> demand a recant. So Vincent Company. Alongside John Terry. Oh. No, I'm going for I'm going Ferdy. Oh. I'll go Freddy as well. <laughs> Ferdy, yeah. mm, go Ferdy. Okay. Uh Rio Ferdinand. Yeah. Well, it looks like com- companies edged edged in that one there. Oh my go. Close one, I think. I think it was close. It's like it's a hard category, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough mm. one. It's a, there's an argument for um for for all of them, really, in all fairness. Yeah. Uh Nemanja Vidic just missed out. Um Twitter I'm live tweeting. Um Shamichael was straightforward, so I didn't put that one on the same as Ashley Cole. Um I say that the, the right back was fairly straightforward. Twitter have agreed with us, Gary Neville as right back. Um and on Twitter in terms of the centre backs, um uh, most of the votes for John Terry and Vincent Company. Oh. Wow. So there we go. We are men we are men of the people. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> exactly. Um, right, we're going to move to center midfield now. Um, before we move on to our okay. or right and left side of midfielders. Um so obviously because we're going 442 then we need two center midfielders. Um I've picked a, a short list as usual there will be a few people missed off. Um Stephen Gerrard Frank Lampard, Paul Scholes, David Silva, Roy Keane, Patrick Vieira, James Milner, and Tom Huddleston. Great <laughs> 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 right, shout. Right, shout. You, you, you've got one name missing off that list. Yaya. And I'm really disappointed you've not put is Yaya Torre. Oh. Did you know what? I did that. Yeah. Yaya Torre is not on that list. Oh. Or David uh, Silva. No, he's definitely Silver. Yeah, I hate to say it, Cesc Fabregas maybe should be in the list as well. Yeah, yeah, good shout. I, I mean, this, oh, this is, is hard. <laughs> it's a tough one, isn't it? That it, it is tough, but there's um, well, I think there's one outstanding candidate personally. Can you say you, you're a bit Vieira, aren't you? Well, of course. <laughs> Mate, we love Vieira at United. That pass at Villa Park was was <laughs> sublime, mate. Set gigs. She loved Vieira, yeah. yeah. What's on? <laughs> Of Vieira, when he's in his pump, man, for France and um, Arsenal, he was in a different league, um, absolutely different league. It wasn't just that with box to box, good in the air, knew his defence responsibilities, um, could get a CC, he had everything. Superb. You got your schools in there. It's so tough with schools, isn't it? This is so hard. Arsenal is very hard. Yeah, it's a tough one. There's so many. It depends. You know, you could go for just literally who you think is the best, or you could kind of look at it and look at it as a partnership potentially who would work best together, um, which obviously wouldn't be Gerard and Lampard. Um, <laughs> you've got to kind of think of those things. Um, Jerry, we're obviously... picking two two from this list. Sorry, yeah, to yeah, two two centimeters. Jerry, who who would you think about? Um, you know, these guys or anyone else. Um, you know, for centre midfield. Yeah, I think this one's actually even harder than centre half. So, I mean, growing up, I absolutely loved Roy Keane, mainly because of how much he would battle Vieira and how much he would smash the Arsenal boys around. Sorry, Albert. So, Dino <laughs> would be probably the first one I picked. Um, and the second one probably would be Skulls because apart from picking Roy Keane, I mean, I pretty much all these players are going off, not even necessarily because he won so many things, but just pure technique. And I don't think I've watched a player in a long time who just looked so easy for Skulls and the way he played and how he wasn't crushing it for England as well and getting played in a free centre mid sort of formation with the England boys, I think was criminal for years and years and years. So 
for me, they'd be the two shouts. But maybe it's a bit of bias because I just loved United growing up. Maybe not because they used to batter us all the time, but I loved them because they were <laughs> an Arsenal bay a lot of the time. So <laughs> there might be a bit of bias there. But they'd be the two that probably I would lean towards. But it is so hard. I, I could probably, I could take so many of them. That's the hard thing. It's a tough one. Um, Mick, what are your thoughts on this one? I mean, obviously, Steven Gerrard's in there and people might think about him. Would you have him in yours? Well, for me, he's the best midfield I've ever seen. I know that's obviously biased, but for me, he could do everything. Yeah, 100%. He could, he could tackle, he could score headers, he could cross, he could pass, he could score literally anything you want from a midfielder. He had it. And I think in, in the one I did on, on our show, on, on our YouTube channel, I had three midfielders in there and I went Gerard, Vieira, Lampard. But I think if I have to pick two, it's got to be Gerard and Vieira, to be honest, because yeah. I think those two as a duo would just be you ain't getting past and just imagine like creativity wise and just as an all rounder. And I think because I've picked already two Man United players and Neville and Schmeichel, I can't get another one in there. Sorry. Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick speaking my language, mate. That's it. That's my two. <laughs> um, That's my two. What are your thoughts about this one? I know there's a couple of players there that you're not too keen on. So Connor, who would you be going for? Hey, me, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd go for Silva and Vieira. I think Silva is just criminally under- underrated. What yeah, a player. Yeah. What a player. Um, yeah, one of the best players I've seen in the Prem, especially in the last decade. Uh, Gerard, if it's Prem 11, isn't, what's he ever done in the Prem? He's never won. Like, they've had a couple of seconds. Like, you could pick Henderson over him. Henderson's oh. fantastic. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, game out. That's, 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 out. that's, that's oh, more than, that's more than <laughs> blow the belt. Good Lord. <laughs> no, <laughs> could, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Did Gerard just never won anything in the Premier League? Like, he's fantastic. Obviously, Gerard, Gerard Gerard levels, man. Super. He did slip once. He did slip. Yeah. Cost him. He was in Premier League team of the year eight times. Yeah, Gerard okay. levels once. But yeah, so I'd, I'd go Silver over Gerard, and I'd probably go Lampard over him as well. Um, <laughs> Tom, obviously you're you're going to be thinking maybe you're you know Man City kind of players. Um, would you kind of be looking at Torre and Silva possibly or someone else? No, I think I think um, David Silva's definitely on the list. He has to be. Um, the the toss-up between me is, is Lampard and Gerrard. And I think as we do Premier League, it's got to be Lampard because he's won it three times. Fair enough. Good shout. Oh, broke off a little bit. This this is going to be a tough one. Um, okay, um, who would have so as one of two? So I'll pick two here. Who would have Paul Scholes in there? Four people. Uh, what about Stephen Gerrard? Four oh, people. I just, I just with Scholes, with with, uh, with, with Scholes, sorry, with, with Gerard. I know he's, I know, like as, as Aaron said, you know, quite rightly so, he didn't win anything in the Premier League. But for me, just epitomised um, what what uh, what a, what a legend he was. He just dragged Liverpool so yeah. many times through so many games. And and you know, you say he didn't win the league, but it wasn't for the one to try and on his part. I think yeah. there's a few times he could have left, could have left Liverpool and yeah. gone on and, and won a yeah, lot in his career. And that's not me having a having a jab Mick. I'm, I'm talking no, no. in the in the Premier League. And I've always said when that ball drops out outside the box 30 yards and you need a goal and it's like the, the 90th minute, there's only one player in Premier League history I want that to drop to and that's Steven Gerrard because you just know he's going to absolutely smash it into the top corner. Absolutely. I, to watch him um, was, was fantastic growing up as much as being a United fan and hating Liverpool as I'm sure you know, Liverpool ha- hate United. Just watching him, he, he was the one player that I'd stand there I'd go, I fucking hate him but he's... <laughs> He's yeah. so good. He's so good. Um, I just, yeah, yeah. And it's just a shame that the club he left to go and win a trophy was LA Galaxy because I think <laughs> he's one player that, that's not, again, I just think he's one player that in his prime could have walked into any team in the world. Any team in the world. That's what I mean. It's all, it's all relative though, isn't it? Like you're saying like these players that have won loads of leagues should be in it. But Gerard, we won Champions League and all these other trophies. That like, obviously not the league, but we won all of the trophies because of him. If we didn't have him in that team, we would have, been, we would have won absolutely nothing. So I think that's like all of obviously he was in the team of the uh, Premier League team of the year eight times and he's got all these personal accolades as well. But those trophies that he won with those FA Cups and 
with the Cups, not the league, unfortunately, we wouldn't have got any of them without him. And that's like, that is a testament to how good he was because he was, he was absolutely, like when I watch clips now, I'm like, I forget how good he was because he was just, he was just, he'd dominate games on his own. And it was just like, you don't see that now in midfielders really. It's heartbreaking for me because, as I say, Phil Jones can can drop into the centre of midfield quite easily. He's um he's he's that versatile. So for me to put in there ahead of Stevie was great. But another one I just want to touch on was was Roy Keane. Um, people saying about Roy Keane. I think it was Jerry saying about Roy Keane. The one thing that Roy Keane did for me, um, I, I watched an interview with him and he said I was asked if I could do three things by by Cluffy. Can I pass a ball? Can I control the ball? Can I run? And he said, I can do that. He said, well, that's all you need. And he simplified the, the ball so much. You know, he was he was in everyone's faces. But if you watch his game, he simplified that midfield. It wasn't anything over the top. He couldn't spray a ball like Scholes or Gerrard, but he was in the thick of it and just won everything. Absolutely everything. And again, just absolute superstar for me. What about, so what about Roy Keane then? Who would, who would have Roy Keane in their, in their two, one of their two? One, two, three, four... Four again, four, but yeah, four again. I feel like, I feel like I need to stand up for David Silver a bit here. Um, was it four people that voted for Paul Scholes over Silver? Well, I have I haven't said David Silver at right. The, okay, but, but I mean, yeah. yeah show calm out. down, Tom. It's not been mentioned yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure you got, he, had, he had a fair crack. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I, I mean, we come on to David Silva. Um, show of hands who would have David Silva in the midfield. And not just because Tom shouted off about it. I was going <laughs> to put him in anyway. Come on, Tom, win, win, win a couple more hands here. Right. So I, people talk to me about Paul Scholes, and he, he was one of the biggest nemesis of me watching United and City matches because he always stood up and, and, and scored that last minute goal. But just a couple of stats here that I've put in front of me while everyone else is talking. David Silva's played 200 games less than Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes has got 55 assists, David Silva 93. Passes for Paul Scholes, 9,800. Passes for Silva, 18,800. Passes passes per match for Paul Scholes, 19. Passes per match for David Silva, 60. Big chances created, which is a massive one. Five for Paul Scholes and 119 for David Silva. He, he's, he's, he's the amazing. best midfielder I have ever seen play. Yeah, he has they to be in, in this squad. Played in different eras, though, didn't they? They played in yeah. different eras when both teams were set up to play different styles of football, wasn't it? Really, when was, Scholes what, was wasn't Scholes dropped for Varane when he came and like rotated with Nicky Butt? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you Nicky would Butt, not drop Nicky, Silva. Nicky Butt, Nicky Butt was decent. I, I'm not having that. Nicky Butt was decent. Yeah, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't drop Silva. You, you wouldn't. I would. I don't all the time. I've put I put Silver in, but in terms of actually playing in a four four two, I don't think he can play in there. Mm, I agree with you, true. Tom. I think he's a class class footballer. And if I could pick anyone in the Premier League era to like, I would be that player. I'd be David Silver. That's who I'd want to be. But in terms of actually playing in a four four two, even though I've put him in, I don't think it works. He could. Yes, he's a better. He's a great midfielder, but is he a central midfielder? Probably not. Didn't he? Yeah, wasn't he? Wasn't he when he come? Wasn't he sort of more like out on out wide? Yeah, I think I then, think I think I think he would have uh, if he still had legs. I think Pep would have put him out on the wings at some more, more games than in the centre. To be honest. Yeah, coming off coming off the right onto his left probably. You're not you're not putting Delph in, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a good point about the four four two, but I don't think I'm being biased. But Vieira has to be in there for me. I know I I take the point about working working with different class, but um, I think in terms of I think Vieira's is a better footballer and part of the Invincibles team as well. Um, for me, he has to be in there. Has I to be. I gave yeah. a far better all-round game than Keane did. Yeah. I don't think that's really debatable. Oh, no, definitely. No, not. No, I, no. Keane was simple. Keane, Keane was simplified. That's all he had was the simple, the three things. You know, the Keane was normally won that battle. battle. We, normally, we normally won that battle against Vieira. That's our credit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, good, good shot. Okay, just... So it's just go go back to David Silver then. I think we had three hands. Anyone going to change? Yeah. Move? I was Silver. No. Eight, Tom. Anyone else? I'm putting my hand up because you, you did your own work. I'm giving you. I'm going to give you a vote. <laughs> 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 you, did, you did some work for that. <laughs> Fair play. Um, right, Tom. I'm so glad I didn't do that report for work today now. <laughs> you'll do it tomorrow. You'll be reading your thing tomorrow. And you'll go, yeah, David Silver had 50. Oh, sorry, that's sorry. Did <laughs> <laughs> you know Phil Jones? Um, what about so? Albert, Albert's just mentioned 
Um, Patrick Vieira. Show of hands, who would have Vieira in their midfield? It really hurts. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Oliver. Look at that. <laughs> His departure was the start of the end for Arsenal, really, wasn't it? Really was. Two, you never two, recovered from him. You never 2005, 2006, the decline started from there, mate. Yeah. Um, okay, then. And I think the other names we had Yaya Torre. Anyone feeling Yaya Torre? I mean, he, he had that one beast mm. of the season where he got about 80 goals and 80 assists. Phen- <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal player. But unfortunately, there's better, there's better, better than him in Premier League for me. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of an individual season, though, I would say out of all of those mentioned, that one where he scored, I think it was like 20 goals and 18 assists from a deep lying position was just ridiculous. Yeah. That was, was that probably... the year he got the goal against Sunderland in the cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the left foot, on the right side of the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He, he was genuinely untouchable that year. There, I mean, there was probably a case for him being the best player in the world um, for at least the season. If it hadn't been for the likes of Messi and Ronaldo putting up outrageous figures year in, year out, I don't think there's too much of a question that he'd have been in, in the running for it. Um, I guess it's a question of longevity, isn't it? You have Vieira and Gerard Lampard putting these figures up for 10 years. He did it for two. So unfortunately, whilst I think at his peak, he was probably the best of the lot, you can't really put him in ahead of those because it was two years. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great, great point, great point. Um, what about Frank Lampard? Is anyone feeling Frank Lampard um, in their midfield too? Still for Lampard, because he's. I think he's the victim of the Steven Gerrard and Lampard argument, isn't he? He's always mm-hmm. been the victim of that, even playing for England. Played, I, I actually think he play, he, he was better for England than, than Gerrard was. Um, I just he, all, he always seemed to pop up with important goals for England. How many goals did he get in the end? Was it like... 25 for England, I think, from midfield, which is stunning. Tom will know. He's stunning. Yeah, Tom will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. It's not a city player. I'm not interested. Sorry, lads. <laughs> I mean, he did play for Man City, did he not? So I'd expect. Uh, fair oh, fair point, actually. Yeah, oh. fair point. Yeah. And I seem to remember a very good goal he scored against Chelsea as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 Right. There we go. Uh, 29 goal. goals for England, he got. 29. That's, that's not decent. Bad. That's not bad. And, a, and 177 in the Premier League, which I yeah. think it puts yeah. him that is on the more time list. Is he Chelsea's top scorer player. as well? Yeah. yeah. I think he is, isn't he? Um, last one I got on the list, um, just simply because I know he's still playing and obviously he did play for Aston Villa as well, but I think he's massively underrated. He's kind of played almost everywhere. I think he probably has. Um, I don't know what you think about this guy, Mick James Milner. Yeah, I think when you put him next to all those other names, though, it's a bit, it's a bit of a tall ask because he's been a, he's a he's an absolute machine, and I love him for what for what he does. But he's more of a utility type of guy, and I think that's why for me David Silva doesn't get in because he's played in a various positions, so he's a victim of his own versatility, really. And that, in that respect, I think David Silva's the same. I think in terms of two centre midfielders, like I said, Gerard and Vieira for me. Obviously, there's loads there like Keane and Scholes you could get in, but. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a, it's a long and strong list. So, in terms of in terms of votes, um, Scholes, Gerard, and um, Roy Keane all had four. Silver on three. Vieira six. So Vieira's in. Um, it's just a case of trying to choose between Scholes, Gerard, and Roy Keane. Um, so we'll, we'll go again. Who's feeling poor Scholes? Well, I like Scholes, too, but. Oh. Or again, um, Stephen Gerrard. Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> Keep your hand up. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Boy for Gerrard there. Uh, Roy Keane. Oh, I'm putting my hand up for Keane again because I fucking love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20 stone. I count for four votes here, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Phil Jones, anyone? Um, yeah, Stephen Gerrard just edged that one then sec- second count so we've gone for a midfield in a 4-4-2 of Stephen Gerrard and Patrick Vieira Brilliant. good midfield Brilliant. It's good midfield. Not, a midfield. Yeah. not a bad midfield at all that very happy in terms of you know they, they, they'd work pretty well together I think comp- yeah. comp- together. Um, Twitter um, uh, Gerrard Keane Lampard the guys out in front what did I know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, right, okay, okay then. So, so there we go, midfielders. Um, we, wingers slash right, left side of midfield. I know we're going four four two. We can play them a bit higher if we want. You know, want to get get a bit higher at the pitch. In terms of wingers, again, I will have missed out um, some. I imagine um, Spurs guys. You've got a name in here eventually. Um, I've gone for Ronaldo, Giggs, Beckham, Robin, Hazard, Bale, and Ashley Young. <laughs> I mean, I think we can all just agree that Ronaldo's got one leg. <laughs> well, see, me and, me and Az, I, I mentioned this in a, in a group that me and Az are on earlier, and, and a couple of people said you can't pick Ronaldo because... Of course you can. You can. Of course you can. <laughs> you can. Well, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to disagree with what I said, and, and they're kind of saying, you know, if you're going off just Premier League, then you can't. But I might be funny, but the bloke got a hundred million pound move or whatever it was off the back of yeah. the Premier League season. Yeah. He got forty-two goals in one season for United as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he mm. he still has like one of the highest ever number of goals in a Premier League season, and he did that from what was at the time a right mid position. Yeah, but yeah, oh. around <clears throat> around oh eight oh nine before he moved, he was absolutely ridiculous. He was the best player in the league by so far. It wasn't even wasn't even funny how much better it was than everyone else. Mm. Is there is there anyone who would disagree with putting Ronaldo in the team? No, no, I'm no. not sure you can. No. No, you can't. <laughs> Oh, God. See, I, see, I absolutely adore David Beckham. So as much as I know Ronaldo is an absolute beast and probably will go down as one of the best, I just, oh, God, it's hard for me not to, to look at Beck because I just fucking love him. So I, I play Ronnie on the left. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Can't leave Ronnie Yeah. Um, I mean... Start up, Jez, otherwise Bale won't get in. Oh, yeah. Put Ronnie on the right. <laughs> I thought you could have put Bell in at left-back, to be fair. <laughs> he never won at left-back, did he? He just kept losing yeah. games. Um, Ollie, would, would, you be, would you be picking Gareth Bale? You know, we're going off, off wingers here. So, uh, are we picking right and left here? Sorry, I was a bit confused. Yeah, just, you know, we yeah. just pick two. I think most people would be going with Ronaldo. Yeah, um, I, don't, yeah. I don't think anyone's disagreeing there. But for the other side, would, would you be thinking Gareth Bale? I think I think with Bale, like he's almost got a bit of like this sort of Yaya Torre issue with himself. Like he was sort of for two seasons, one like hundred percent, he was the best player in the league, bar none. Um, and then obviously, like he, he went to Madrid and he went on and won what he did there. Um, but I suppose the question is that is that one season enough to get you into the all time in sort of position on the wing? I don't know, but I'm a Spurs fan, so obviously I'm going to put him there, but. Um, you can understand why you wouldn't put him there as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what you mean. I mean, I'm, I'm a massive Gareth Bale fan. Mm. Um, what, what about the likes of Eden Hazard? Would anyone be be going off him? Is he similar with him? I, he had a few good seasons, but I felt sometimes maybe flattered to deceive a bit. Anyone is anyone feeling Eden Hazard? No. Hazard's a bit of a strange one in terms of playing for Chelsea. He was their best ball progressor by some distance created the most chances, highest score of most seasons. But then you can't ignore that season where he scored about two. <laughs> and unfortunately, you do have to take that into account. He did have an absolute shocker. Um, with that being said... He buried us, though. Sorry? Still turned up against us and absolutely buried our title chances. <laughs> <laughs> Like playing shit all season, so <laughs> maybe I'll back him. Actually, put him in the team <laughs> off that one performance. Yeah, what a game though! What a game! Yeah. Awesome. I suppose the only other player I could think of that you could possibly call a winger would be Henri, but I don't know if you're going to put him up front. Did Perez get no, mentioned? No. I hate Perez. Robert Perez. Perez. Thank you. Perez Thank you, Peter. Oh, no, he didn't. I did think about I, Perez, but I didn't. What one who hasn't been mentioned is Salah as well. I feel he probably deserves a shout. Still playing yeah. though, isn't he? Yeah. He's still so playing. Sorry, Marno, Marno, yeah. He's still Robert. playing, but if you think about it, he's broken the record for the most number of goals in a Premier League season. He's consistently put up 20 plus a season, which can't be said for any of the others apart from Ronaldo. And if we're basing it off being able to put Ronaldo in off about three good seasons, Salah has been at a similar level to what Ronaldo was then for three or four now. Mm. Salah baffles yeah. me though, man. Like, I watch Salah, I watch Salah play, and his numbers are ridiculous, and he's unbelievable. I just can't put my finger on what he's actually good at. Like, 
he seems to have some moments where he's so clumsy, like he just looks like he shouldn't be good at football. And then other moments, that goal he put in the top corner against Chelsea, just some of the stuff he does is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, I think it's one, it's one of them. You've got to watch the full 90 of, of, a, of a game, really. It's like, yeah, he, he, he does come across quite clumsy, like a Luis Suarez, where he tries stuff and it like flicks off a leg and it's quite, it looks quite clumsy and stuff. But like 81 goals and 116 Prem games, like, oh, it's for, that's for a crazy. Record, like I, 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 it wouldn't go in mind because it, I don't, th- I don't think it's right to put a player in that's still playing. I think maybe in a couple of years, the same with Van Dijk, he might, he might come into the equation then. Mm-hmm. But the, the fact that he went, he went to Chelsea, it didn't happen for him. He had the balls to come back, thinking, right, fuck this, I'm going to come and score loads of goals. The way he did, scored 32 in his first season, 22 in his second. And the fact mm-hmm. that he's got gone on to win Champions League and then Premier League, he's he's an absolute monster. But for me, he doesn't he doesn't get in just yet, unfortunately. Would you would you have Mane in there or Salah? Who do you value more as a Liverpool fan? I value Mane. Salah, more, to be honest. Yeah, okay. I do only because he, he's when when we need the goal, he's he always he always pops up a bot. He always or he, he makes something happen out, out of absolutely nothing, like taking three people on. But like obviously, Sadio Mane could come into the equation as well in a couple of years. But yeah, in terms of getting the numbers and and the thing, like scoring goals in Champions League finals and stuff like that. He's he's been an absolute revelation. I I I didn't expect him to be anywhere near this good, especially after seeing what he did for Chelsea and then going away to the Italy and then trying to make a name for himself and then come back to the Prem. He's done absolute wonders for us. Think he'll stay at Liverpool? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he'd go. That's the thing. I think in times gone by where we've lost like key players like Torres and Alonso and Mascherano, there's always been a Barcelona or Real Madrid who are better than us, but now. I don't think there's that option unless he wants to go to have an experience in Spain or whatever. I don't see it as a viable option at the moment, really. I think, I think you keep Klopp there. As long as Klopp's there, he's going nowhere, is he? Yeah. Klopp, they love him. Klopp. They absolutely love him. Yeah, Klopp's got a contract till 20, 2024. And if he obviously usually honours his contract, so if he remains for that amount of time, like they're, they're all, the thing is, our front three are all getting on now. They're all pushing 29 30. So. That's why we obviously we've signed Diego Yota to try and come in and make a name for himself in in the background to try and replace one of them eventually. But we're going to have to it's going to have to happen at some point. What about what one person we haven't mentioned? Which I want to come to you on this one, Callum uh, Ryan Giggs. I think Ryan Giggs is someone who could get in for longevity, but uh, if I'm being brutally honest, that he wouldn't get into into my team if I was picking an all-time Premier League eleven based on the best eleven players to, to play in the Premier League. Um I, I think longevity would get him in obviously ahead of anyone, but I, I don't think he does enough individually for me to, to get in this team. Cal, it's kind of, I think for us, mate, he it, it's he lives off that goal, doesn't he, against against Arsenal in the in the semi final because he was like you say, he was he was there at week in, week out, but I can't really remember games where he really took the game by the scruff of the neck and, and and destroyed teams. He didn't really... He was there every season. He had the, the record until his last season, scoring every Premier League season. Um, but I agree with you. I think other than the Arsenal moment, um, I, I don't. he doesn't get into my mind either. It's like the, the, the stats of the 99 treble winning season. I think he scored three goals and had four assists. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, think yeah. That, that, that that's just not enough for, for someone who obviously had a great career. But as I say, I think... A lot of people put him in these sides because, as you say, he scored in every year. He won the most Premier League titles. But I think like, you, you mentioned someone like a Gareth Bale. I'd probably put a Gareth Bale in, if I'm honest, ahead of Giggs. Yeah, yeah. I think Giggs, Giggs is just a safe choice, isn't it? If you put him in, no one's going to shout you down. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. Harrigan, he's a David Moyes. Yeah, he's, he's got a few perks. one around him. Yeah, his personality is questionable, but then we put John Terry in, so we can't really use that as an argument <laughs> against him. Um, I'm glad you mentioned Robert Perez then, because I think he's been overlooked, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, Perez, you know, ex Aston Villa as well. Of course. Well done, Chris. Well done. I'm glad you got that in. Al- mate. Albert, I tell you, the player I loved was, um, but he, only, he was only Arsenal for a couple of years. He was, he was my first real player when I was growing up that I really adored, was Mark Overmars. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. And the thing is, he was a player. Yeah, the thing with Overmars, it wasn't just the fact that he had pace, he had controlled pace. So yeah, yeah, he yeah. didn't just go yeah. flat out, he just he made him more dangerous. But I think Robert Perez is a good shout for someone that comes to the Premier League. And to be honest, he struggled for about the first six to 12 months. But if you look at his actual Arsenal career, goals and assists, consistency, um, I think he was superb. I think it's a good case for him to be in the team, to be honest. 
What position did Lundberg play in? Yeah, I, I was thinking Lundberg as well, Tom, mm. on, my, on my list. Was he a winger? Yeah, he was... It, it's weird because Lundberg was always that player that was always prepared to go beyond the strikers. He, he, he's like, he had that sort of like Platy and, and uh, Jungberg would always, would always find that space and pockets of space to score the goals. Um, yeah, Jungberg was cast, but I think consistently that would be for me most definitely. Okay, then it's... So, obviously we're talking about the other side, whichever side we're going to stick Ronaldo on. Um... <laughs> We're gonna, we're right. gonna. So who's who's feeling Gareth Bale? Ah, uh, you can't. No. <laughs> yes. One vote for the big man. One season. <laughs> I saw some of Gareth Bale's highlight reel, some of his goals. I've got to be honest, even though Arsenal for like flipping hell, man. This guy was on fire that season. Yeah, that and last that season. one in Spain he scored though when he runs off the pitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 back yeah. off the pitch. Um, what, about, what, about, what about your boy Jack Grealish? <laughs> he's still playing. Give him time. Give him time. He's class. He could be there. He's class. Definitely yeah. class. Yeah, not at the moment. I think you know we we can all agree. Um, you know, in terms of, for Villa, I've been saying this for a while. He's, he has he's kind of not really changed changed the way he's played for for years. He's just got quicker, fitter, and stronger. You know, he's always played the same kind of way. You know, flamboyant, good on the ball. Um, beats a man. He's always been able to do that kind of stuff. Um, it's just that he's just got that, you know, the kind of the physical side of things. He's always had that brain. Uh, maybe in a few years, but he's got a way to go. In all fairness, but no, I don't think anyone would go for for him. Um, what about um, let's go? What about David Beckham? Who would pick David? Beckham? I, fuck, I will because I freaking love him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I know what you guys I know what you guys are saying about Ronaldo, and I completely agree. You know, Ronaldo. Just it's just a, a whole, you know, loved him. Just just loved the bloke he was, and loved the the, the way he played. The way he looks. To be fair, yeah, Ronaldo, yeah, played, Ronaldo played on the left enough. You can always stick him over that. Yeah. Cheers, thanks, thanks, Joe. I'll stick with that one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eden has Eden Hazard. Then who's Eden Hazard? I think he full. He's surely got the same problem that Salah and Bale do. He's still a current player. And yes. Arguably, he's declining pretty heavily now. Yeah, I say pl- you say player, but I say every now and then. <laughs> mm. yeah, 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 he's got about three games in two years. Um, if you can't if you can't pick Salah because he's still playing, then you definitely can't pick Hazard. Yeah, mm. give Hazard credit though because he was the best player in the league for a couple of seasons for me. He was the player like Pete was saying about Silver. I'd watch Hazard. I hate Chelsea, but I'd watch him the way he plays. I would be a winger as well, and I just adored him in terms of his technique and his style. So. Give him some credit. He was. He was. He did have. He did have a couple of exceptional years. He was. He was super. What a player. Um, it was a couple of exceptional years good enough to put him in because he had some crap years as well, to be perfectly honest with you. And if you're going to put him in the greatest eleven, you're going to want to actually put him in for consistency as well. I think. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't vote for him. But I just want to give him a bit of credit because I feel like he's getting dashed to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that full ball boy that he uh, dashed to the ground. For a uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> gave him a good kick. We're wankers. We are. <laughs> John Terry, get Giggsy in there. Get Hazard. Scum, <laughs> what about Giggs? Then Ryan Giggs. He's a bit of a wanker. But what? What are we thinking? <laughs> can't pick him. I'm going to go for Ryan Giggs. Don't we? Hey, you should have had his. You should have done the uh, forward for his his autobiography. Ryan Giggs. He's a bit of a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> He's on John Terry's as well. Um, okay, Robert Perez. Then, um, who's feeling Perez? I'd probably oh, have to go Perez. Yeah, you know, I would as well. Perez. Thank you, thank you, thank God, you. God, yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, I know Ollie went for uh, Gareth Bale. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on my own, Mick. I'm not sure who are you feeling, or is it, or are you, or are you feeling like someone like Salah? No, I think Ronaldo, I think for me, I think just for, like we said, numbers and then he got that big move off the back of it. I think he was one of those players that if he was on his A game, there's, there was nothing you could do about it. He was just absolutely one of the players that I always feared coming come up against Liverpool because if he was, if like I said, if he was on his A game, there's, there's, even if he doubled up against them, he'd still rip you to shreds. So for me, he's got to go in. What about the other other side? I think I think we all, all agreed on Ronaldo. What about the other, other side? Perez is uh, with Perez. See, I've got I've got Henri for the left because I wanted to get a striker in as well. So I know he was he made his name there for Juve as a left winger, but I just think I don't know if it's, I'm trying to shoehorn him in. But for me, I've got a, I've got a main striker there. I just thought, yeah, Thierry Henry for me, he's my favourite ever non-Liverpool player. So I have to get if him we, in. 
If we can have shot. Henri on the left, that's uh, that's absolutely nailed on, isn't it? Someone's trying to get Suarez in no, the start. No, no, of no, 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 thank you. I clocked that. I clocked that. He's, clock waiting, that. he's waiting until we can get Andy Carroll up there, isn't he? <laughs> clock that straight away, is it? Is, is anyone, yeah, anyone else with Mick on, on shoehorning Henri on the no. left? Yeah. Yeah, I am. He I don't think he's a striker. You can't be up front. He'd be up front. Yeah, he's yeah. one of yeah. my big yeah. I think the other left wingers account for. I think that Henri is a better left winger than the majority of left wingers we're discussing. <laughs> and frankly, there's a lot of very good strikers. When I think. Yeah, there you go. You just Joe and Mick going for. Joe and Mick going for Henri. I think we had four votes for Pires. Any more for any more? I just, without sounding harsh, I just can't. I mean, when I think of Premier League best eleven, yeah. I just can't picture Perez in that no. best eleven. It just, and that's not me. I, I just can't see it. Like I can't. You know, you've got the awards. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. People watching, and, and you've got and on left midfield, Robert Perez. I mean, oh, it's like oh, a far. Oh, no, he's different. I just can't see it. Absolutely, it's levels. Perez, it's levels. Oh, I can't see it. Levels me. I can't see it. I'll put Luke Chadwick there before him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, man. He's playing a bloody laugh. Chadwick. No, come put some respect on, put some respect on Pierre's day, man. Come on. I do, man. I do. And, I, and, and he was one of those players, again, you know, you do, when, when United played him, he always seemed to turn up against us. He did turn up, yeah. But um, I just... I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just just looking at the the big names. I, I get what you're saying, consistency and all that. I just I just can't see it. But I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 we see, we we seem to be struggling down the left. So I why don't move Ronnie yeah. over to the left? Get Bex on the right. Yeah, Golden. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. W- would anyone would anyone go? Would anyone like that one? So if we if we stuck Ronaldo on the left, Beckham on the right. Anyone feeling Beckham? Yeah, I'll take that. Well, that is David Beckham, man. Oh, I think God. if we, because we've picked four four two, you can't play Henri because he. You, you can't you, play Henri. Your, your, your wide man has to protect your fullback in a four four two, and Henri ain't protecting no one. Like, <laughs> he's, like he's not actually going to play. <laughs> he's not tracking back. If you're going four three three, then obviously you can play Henri as your wide left. But you, if you've gone four four two, he can't get in there as a winger, man. He can't. Yeah, I, I just can't see it. in a four-four-two formation. David Beckham. It was just—I mean, he was just levels. He was just absolutely unreal. The stuff he could yeah. do from the right. Honestly, I, I just can't. I can't speak highly enough of the guy on the right. He was incredible. Absolutely amazing. Mr. Consistency as well, wasn't he? Let's be honest. Twitter, Twitter um, at the moment. Hazard and Giggs are tied. What for the, for the other winger position? Obviously, with Ronaldo taking one. Um, so. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> But final call then, David Beckham on the right, Ronaldo on the left. Ooh, ooh, anyone going for that? We had. Go on, I'll go in for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that. I'll swear. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Sorry, Albert. Oh, if it no. means Perez doesn't get in, then. <laughs> He's like, Robert, look, I tried my best, mate. I tried my best. <laughs> I, tried. I think I've got his number. I think I've got his number anyway. I've got his Zoom or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, tried, I tried, Robert, mate. I tried. I tried. Right. Don't mind. <laughs> There we go. I mean, Beckham probably sounds, you know, it's a bit more exotic. Beckham on the right, isn't it? We're just missing the vava voom now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, fair, fair play to Beckham, though, man. No, he, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock him. Fair play. Right. Okay. Um, final, final position then. Strikers. Uh, again, as always, I will have missed somebody off, but this is the shortlist that I've gone with: um, Alan Shearer, Sergio Aguero, Wayne Rooney, Harry Kane. Andy Cole, Thierry Henry. Um, Henry and Shearer. Yeah, it's not even an argument, is it? Yeah, Shearer's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Henry and Shearer, mate. Spot on. Yeah, is anyone against? Is anyone against Alan Shearer? No. Absolutely. No. Can't be, no. Does Michael Owen get a shout? Michael Owen for three years, I'd say yes, but he was just ruined, wasn't he, at Liverpool with his injuries? He was just always rushed back. Yeah. Far too soon, and it it, it killed him. Yeah. Didn't, he win the, didn't he win the Ballon d'Or? Like what he did. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did, won, yeah. he did. To be fair, he did. I mean, I wouldn't pick him, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't you know what's wrong with today. But Burkamp needs a mention. I don't know why. Burkamp needs a big mention. Dennis, oh, yeah. Dennis is unbelievable. What unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I went. There's so many players you could mention in the likes of Robbie Fowler, Burkamp, Owen, Mercy. 
Van Persie, I like, what, oh my God, Van Persie, especially that one year at United, it was just everything he touched was in the back of the net. <laughs> So one, that's the one year he was fit, I think, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but surely Dan Percy was fit judge. at Arsenal. Yeah, he would have been. Jesus. Yeah, he was. He was a good player. I'm not going to knock him. What about I can't him? see past uh, Henri and, and Shearer for this. No, I can't. I, I can't yeah. see past it. I mean, Shearer do you scored. The start, when we just, Tom, yeah, when we decided what position, what, what what formations we were going for at the start, and I wanted four three three. My my front three is Henri, Aguero, and Shearer. If I have to drop one of them, it's Shearer. It's it's Henri and Aguero. That that team, what? that team, that team, that team Ooh. would be phenomenal. Those two up front, Henri, nah, Henri you, and Aguero. If we put if we put Beckham in the team on the right, how are you dropping Alan Shearer? No, you can't. Yeah, that's a good point. He has to play. Yeah, you got your. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, how many players have we said you can't get in if they're still playing at the moment as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Te- technically, Sergio's not played for two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. I, I mean, if we're going for two up top, would, you know, would you be going, Tom, would you be going for Aguero? Uh, 100%. No question marks. Is that ahead of Shearer? Ahead of Shearer. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. And, I, and, I, and I, had, I had the front three of Henri, Shearer, and Aguero. and... I don't want to use the word weakest link, but Shearer's getting dropped over. 260 yeah. goals and he's the weakest link. He can play for Newcastle. And that's the, the most thing about, yeah, that's the most disappointing thing about Shearer. He, he could have gone to United, didn't he? He could have gone to He could have won whatever he wanted to win. And he didn't. And that's a really <laughs> frustrating thing for me. I can see why I did it, obviously. Boyhood club in it all that year. Yeah, yeah, I can see why I did it, but it's disappointing. You got to be. Well, Sam Shearer, Shearer would score in the box, out the box, oh, pile that drivers. Everton, that goal oh, in Everton, God. Holly. And I think some, something a lot of people forget as well is that his first two seasons didn't even count towards his tally because they were in the old first division. First division. Yeah. And, he missed, and he missed two seasons injured, two full yeah. seasons. If he played the whole way through, he'd have been probably over three hundred goals. Yeah. Yeah. So that season when the Black Bear won the league, I think he scored about he's got much, in excess of thirty-five goals that season. He made Chris Sutton look like a decent. Shot. He did. <laughs> <laughs> the SAS. Chris Sutton lives off that. He does. Um, you think Harry Kane gets in in five years' time? Definitely, if he carries on the way he is. I, honestly, he's the one person I think if he stays fit. relatively fit. He's the one chance. He's got the one, the, the one main chance of, of beating that record. Aguero, not, I think, if he'd stayed fit for a couple of years, might have. But Kane, yeah. I just I, the way he's not, playing. He'd not Shearer out of this team, wouldn't he, Kane? Yeah, for me, like, take on Rio. Harry Kane would. There's not similar sort of. Harry Kane's just a better footballer than Alan Shearer. Don't get me wrong, like Shearer's numbers mm-hmm. are unreal. Yeah, but outside of winning ball in the air and and striking the ball well. Kane's a better footballer. He passes better than him. He moves yeah. better than him. He's a smarter footballer. So if he gets past him or even gets close to him, I think he, he would knock him out of his team. But he can't go in yet. Same as Aguero, can't go in yet. Pete, Pete with, with Kane, just a quick one. Do you see, yeah. I honestly can see Kane sort of, as he gets older, becoming a Shearer. As he gets older, he will revert into the Shearer role of just winning everything and just, just being able to hit. So I, I agree that Kane is the better footballer. I think... He's, mm. he's got, I mean, how old is he now? 26, 27? 27, is he? He's got, he's got six, seven years, I think. I honestly think, as long as he looks after himself, to still do this, I, I, I absolutely love Harry Kane. His passing range this year it's as well. Insane. It's insane. It's yeah. insane. Real. He, he has done it. He's done it for a while, in all fairness. Yeah. Mm. He's, he's, I suppose the thing is, he's probably getting the numbers more in terms of the assists, but he's, he's, he's always had that passing range picking out players and stuff like that. That's always been in his locker. What's he on now? 150 Premier League goals? Yeah. 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 110 to go to the, get the record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but and also, <laughs> let's, let's remember, he's not, he's not, he didn't start. I mean, you think he, he didn't really break into the Spurs team. The Spurs lads have to help me. So he was like 21, 22, was it perhaps? He wasn't like yeah. a, a young prospect yeah, just went fired in. He had to work for it, didn't he? Yeah, sure would give me a shot. He was terrible at first. He was awful when he came into the team, and we and we didn't want him playing. To be honest, yeah. we watched him. We wanted Soldado to play. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> proper. <laughs> when he started, <laughs> he just suddenly became good and went. You know what? I am good at football. I'm going to start banging in goals and picking balls for fun. It's ridiculous. It was Sherwood. It was Sherwood that kind of gave him his stint in the team, wasn't it? 
Yeah, but don't let Sherwood have the credit for that. No, no, I won't let him have the credit for anything. <laughs> oh, no, you know, do you know just one, one player who, who I, I know he's, he's, he doesn't get in ahead of any, a lot of these, but it was, was Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham was such right, an player. underrated yeah. striker. Yeah. Not just the he scored, but the, the, the build-up play and the players he brought into it, it was he was such a smart player, wasn't he? He was absolutely phenomenal. He could play in any of the same game. That's what's yeah. special about him. You watch him yeah. in any of the games, he could play now. Comfortably, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Player player. I think a player that can play in any year and you watch them and they're tough and they're intelligent, their techniques quality, yeah. those are the best. So I absolutely adore sharing them. I think yeah, mate. a yeah. great yeah. starting player. Yeah. Another one who doesn't get in, but I think it's probably worth a shout is uh, Van Nistelrooy as well. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, finisher. Yeah, I mean, 55 goals in like 209 games for United. Yeah, and, and you were not at your best at the time either. No. You were in, you're in transition. He, he was looking to his part week in, week out. I have, I have to give a shout out to um, Robbie Fowler just for natural finishing ability. Insane. Yeah, he's decent. We haven't mentioned Dwight York either, have we? Get the Villa yeah. connection in. Yeah, Dwight York. <laughs> Another one that you could label as a bit of a wanker. Uh, Dwight York. <laughs> yeah. I suppose there's there's also one other wanker missing. That's um, Eric Cantona up from. Oh, yeah. I love them. Yeah. 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 Did Louis Suarez get mentioned as well, by the way? Another wanker, yeah. Lewis Suarez. Another wanker, but unbelievable when he was playing. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. I think you feel, you feel for Wazza as well, don't you? Because Wayne yeah, Rooney, Rooney, like, is, uh, yeah. Rooney, I think Rooney's massive problem when he played for United. And do you know what? For his whole, whole of his career, when you look at Ronaldo, when you look at Messi, Ibrahimovic, they play in one position. That is their position. They ain't moving to fucking nobody. Rooney would play at left back, centre back. He played wherever you needed him to play, and because of that, I think he probably suffered for that because he was mm. too selfless in the way he played anywhere for the team. And, he, and uh, again, how many goals he? He's got over two hundred goals, I think. Two hundred and eight, hasn't he? That's. Oh. I mean, yeah. that, you yeah. don't get that by accident, do you? You know what I mean? It's those and years he was playing with Ronaldo. He looked phenomenal, but it, was Ronaldo making him look better? I don't know, but no. yeah, it was, it was incredible. I wouldn't even say that was when Rooney was at his best, though. It came a couple of years later, around yeah. sort of 11, 12, 13. That's when he was at his absolute peak. And he was pretty much untouchable at that stage. But again, he just declined so quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, went from, he went from one of the best players in the league to being a bit of a burden, really. And oh. it happened very quickly. Yeah. Um, just, just an update, update from Twitter. Um so to the opposite side to Ronaldo, um, Beckham um, got the most tweets there, the most votes yeah. on Twitter. So again, as as we said, um, at the moment in terms of strikers, um, Henri is winning that one. Would we? This is this is on. I've said to go alongside Shearer. I think Tom is the only one who's against us having Shearer. Can't have got Shearer. In terms of votes, unfortunately, Tom would be out, outvoted on that one. In terms of a long, Only, in terms of alongside Shearer, um, who would be who, who would go for Thierry Henry? Oh, he yeah, got him. Man. Oh, what a guy! Ten percent. What a player. For me, he is the first name out of this whole team. She, he puts himself on there. I think. Yeah. Like, he, Watching him at his best, he was just on top of him. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsene yeah, Wenger did such a good job with him. I mean, what was he? Ten million from Juve? Couldn't get into the Juve side. Yeah, left winger. Yeah, struggled in Italy. Yeah, like Burkamp did as well. Yeah, I think one one person who wasn't for Henri then was Neil. So the reason, if we're going to talk, it's, it's kind of two arguments we've got at the moment. One of them is watching them play, and I agree, watching Henri was unbelievable. But if you're going to take it down to best striker that for the, the strikers are always going to be judged on goals and Thierry Henry got 175 Wayne Rooney got 208 and as you're saying if he's playing in different positions and you want a striker to score that's what Rain, Wayne Rooney does and he he's done it season in season out yes he dropped off very quickly but to be just behind Alan behind Alan Shearer ahead of Sergio Aguero you're looking at Thierry Henry that's the reason why I didn't put him in. Not because I don't think he's a great player, not because I don't think he's an amazing striker, just because you've got to think about how many goals they scored. And the end of the day, that's how strikers are judged. Uh, how, how many games? games did he play? Play? Yeah. What's the ratio? Yeah. yeah. Not like, sure Ro- about that, Ro- Rooney debuted when he was like 16, didn't he? Yeah, if you're going to come with Stafford, then, didn't he? <laughs> 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 Tom was our resident stat man. 
<laughs> I've got a shout out for somebody that wouldn't get in, but I think was a fantastic player, Ian Wright. Oh yeah, you're right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. He wouldn't right. get in, but what a what a finisher he was. Yeah. So when you look back on his career, like it's some of the goals he scored, like you know they have the Premier League hundred goals that players score. Some of Wright's goals were different class, man. In the not just in the box, outside the box, he had that nasty streak about him as well, yeah. which you do need to fall that aggression, but maybe a bit too angry at times. But yeah, yeah right, thanks, was, thanks for the shout, man. Right, he was class, man. He was what was he 24 when he actually came on? He came the late, season? yeah, he's late, he's late into all those years he lost. Yeah. yeah, I know, unbelievable. And at one point, it was our top goal scorer, but obviously, Henri's that now, so but yeah, righty, man, unbelievable. There's a few, there's a few strikers, isn't there, that were missing out, like Drogba. Drogba was, was unplayable, oh, wow. yeah. Big shout. Was, wasn't he? You know, yeah. he was unreal. Another one that you know, going back to the 90s and late 90s, early noise, Les Ferdinand, Les Ferdinand was. Beast, wasn't it? Yeah, he Absolute was. beast. Him and Shearer at Newcastle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Zola as well, by the way. Gianfranco Zola. Zola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to mention. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, there's the likes of um, Pavlichenko. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, we would win the race for the worst there, right? worst strikers, by the way. Have you said Christian Bentec? Christian Bentec had one season. Yeah, ben <laughs> Jermaine oh. Defoe, man. Jermaine Defoe, bad goals. Yeah. Defoe, yeah. There's a few there up there. I mean, he scored a lot of goals, Defoe. I think, when, like, as what Neil said in terms of goals, you know, Defoe, in all fairness, probably very underrated. He got goals everywhere he was in the Premier League, didn't he, in all fairness? Didn't he get five yeah. in the game once? Was it four yeah. or five? Yeah. 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 We, forgot, we, forgot, we forgot Chris Armstrong, didn't we? Chris Armstrong. What <laughs> about Hugo, Hugo Rodaiga? Jason Yule. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, if we take... Yeah, yeah, we're taking yeah, the mick yeah, out, but yeah. what about Nicholas Bentner? He was level. Oh, of course, <laughs> mate. He's, 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 even, he's, even, he's even written a book now as well. Do you know who would be on this list if his attitude wasn't dreadful? Anelka. Yeah. 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 Oh, he could it, have been so much better than he was. When do, you remember, do you remember him early for Arsenal? When oh, he 17. Destroy yeah. United every time. And that's the thing. We didn't have him for long, but then he started sulking and you got his big move to Madrid. So, But now, nah, when he first came on, just raw, what, 500 grand? Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, you say his big move to Bolton. I'm still gutted we didn't sign him on a permanence. We had him on loan, didn't we? In, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I think then, um, so just, I think literally, so Tom was the only one against Alan Shearer. Um, obviously he's going for his man, Sergio Aguero. Um, it was it was Aguero and Henri that you were feeling, Tom. That's correct. Yeah, that's good for me. I would like to give a massive shout out to the funniest goal celebration I've ever seen—an ex-Arsenal player, Adebayor. I can't believe you've not mentioned him, lads. We're still trying to find him. Eh? <laughs> I've never laughed so much at a football match in my life when I saw that goal celebration from Adebayor <laughs> against Arsenal. Sorry, carry on. Yes, Henri, <laughs> Henri and Sergio. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, the only person who was against Thierry Henry was Neil, who put, Cheers, put, Neil. put forward uh, Wayne Rooney, which, you know, great shout. Um, anyone changing their mind and, and feeling that Wayne Rooney should be in this? Oh, no, I, I can see why, you can see why he's been said. I mean, Wazza mm-hmm. did score just a phenomenal amount of goals, but I just, I think, uh, was it Joe that said this, that we need to check the stats of goals to gain ratios? And I, I just think Henry would probably... Piss all over him, wouldn't he? With that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we've got our ratio of wankers in already as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. We can't fit any more wankers in, um, so we we'll go for Thierry Henry, who you know handballed against Ireland to knock them out. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, there we go. Then I think I think we're we're all we're all pretty much almost unanimous on the strikers in terms of Shearer and Henry, which pretty good strike force in all fairness. Got a bit of everything there. Um, so just to recap on what our team is, we went for a formation of four four two as we're a democracy, and that's where we <laughs> voted. Um, with goalkeeper was Peter Schmeichel, ex Aston Villa. Um, <laughs> Gary Neville and Ashley Cole. Um, Centre halves um, John Terry, ex Aston Villa, and <laughs> Vincent Company. Um, Midfield two of um, Patrick Vieira and Steven Gerrard. Yeah. And then on the left wing was 
Cristiano Ronaldo, right wing or right side of midfield, David Beckham. And then up top, Alan Shearer and Thierry Henry. Um, one final thing, just before we go. In terms of those, obviously, there's a lot of very, very good players there. That is what we think um, is the you know, all-time Premier League eleven. What about captains? Who would we be feeling a captain there? I mean, there's a, oh, there's a lot. Of- oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say manager, Chris, as well. I thought you were yeah, going to say that as well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we definitely need to pick a manager. There's only one manager yeah. that can go in. He's a Scotsman. <laughs> he managed Man United. David Wait, I thought you were going to pick Graham Souness. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Soon enough. laughs> David Moyes, yeah. Uh, I mean, managers, just off the top of my head. Um, it's got to be Fergie. You can't, like, Fergie. I've got to go Fergie. He yeah. probably built four different squads in the Premier League year. He's just... Yeah. 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 You're not giving Big Sam the chance then, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd go to Big Sam. <laughs> <with four players. laughs> Tim Sherwood. Oh my God, Tim Sherwood. Here we go. <laughs> Villa, he's no. Villa as well. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Villa. He, he, there's only there's only two choices for manager, isn't there? There's it's either Ferguson or yeah, well, Venga. Venga. What about or Mourinho? Mourinho, Mourinho yeah. gets a shout. Yeah, Jose gets a shout. Mixed. Ice Alan Cumbersley. <laughs> still still linked to every job that ever goes available. He's like always <laughs> fifty to one. Mm. Mick and Neil are thinking Brendan Rogers. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, got it's got to be Fergus. I think it's fair to that conversation. Yeah. yeah, let's give it to Fergie. Why not? Fergie. He never sees <laughs> life again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, what about captain? Is there anyone? Ooh, oh, God. It's hard, isn't it? Is, if, okay. if, I, if you're still pushing on it, I'm, oh, God. Come back to me. <laughs> don't push me on. if you're going to push me on it don't push me on it yet <laughs> <laughs> I said it before didn't I? I said it before Vincent Company is the captain's captain it's got to be for me I'll give it to Company yeah I would it, for me, else, it's else Company or Vieira yeah there I, I think Vieira oh, oh, Stevie wow. G could be a good shout Stevie G uh, John Terry uh, Gary Neville mm-hmm. He's never. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just say the rest of the team so everyone's accounted for? But, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> left out. Vincent yeah, Company yeah. captain, um, Vieira vice captain. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Good show. Um, okay, show of hands then. Vincent Company is captain. Yeah, he just wins it for me. Yeah, just, just. Um, yeah, I think that was, yeah. Ahead of people, I, I'd have said John Terry, but I'm neutral. I'd have said John Terry, to be fair. Yeah. 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 Me too. Well, there we there we go. And that's our team. Four four two, managed by Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, unfortunately, Callum didn't get David Moyes in there for that one. <laughs> um, and captain by Vincent Company. And Tommy's delighted at that one. Um, Happy with that. That was worth the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was worth slagging Shearer off. Geordie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Jordy> bastard. <laughs> for two hundred sixty goals. And what? And what? Um, so there we go Uh, massive thanks for all these wonderful guys for for joining us Um, pretty good team I think we've got there in all fairness Um, don't don't think you can argue massively with a lot of them Um, maybe on the captain I'm not so sure (laughs) Um, but yeah massive thanks for everyone so we've got Dan from Football Is and That's What I Want Um, Tom from Manchester Is Blue Jerry Ollie Peter from are you entertained? Ian and Joe Villa together. Uh, Albert from Albert J TV. Uh, Mick Moran from the Copite. Aaron Barrett, ex Wimbledon fan. Because <laughs> <laughs> of a number of reasons. Um, Neil Mystery from Beyond the 90, LCFC. Um, Callum from Football CFB. A massive thanks, everyone watching. Follow these guys on Twitter. Also subscribe to their channels. Um, they're putting out great content. Very, very good. Hey, Chris, massive thank you to, to, to getting us all on, mate. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, mate. Uh, Cheers, man. Awesome. Chris, quality, mate. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks for having us. Very uh, enjoyable evening, lads. And for everyone listening, um, there is a competition that's being run by our sponsors, which is Iconic Sporting Moments. Um, they do um, sporting posters, essentially, good quality posters, um, any goal from um, a club that supported or a goal international team, 
or even a goal that your son or daughter may have scored. He'll do it for you. Um, I'll tweet about that. Hopefully these guys will retweet it as well because he does posters for all different teams, not just Aston Villa, um, even though we score some great goals. But once again, a massive, massive thank you to all these guys. Um, everyone watching, um, subscribe to all these guys' channels. I'll put the link on the bottom of the video. Um, and also subscribe to Villa Together because um, we hosted this time. But massive thanks to everyone. And uh, thanks for your time. Uh, we've been Villa Together. Thank you very much.